The road is literally all curvy right now. The figures will be following you at this point and should you stop for too long, they will surround and trap your vehicle. More of their screams can be heard from the outside of your doors, sometimes even sounding like mechanical laughter. Stromedy Squad told you guys it was not gonna take a week for me to upload again guys just to quickly start this video off Yesterday we released our second installment of the glitch our short horror film series The link for that will be down below in the description if you guys like being scared if you like being spooked Then you should definitely go check that out. We spent like nine hours filming it in the freezing cold So it was a challenge, but you guys know me. I, I, I like a good challenge But basically guys to jump right into this video today We're gonna be doing something called the 11 mile ritual now. I've actually been seeing a whole bunch of youtubers all over YouTube that kind of sounds weird but I've been seeing a whole bunch of youtubers do this challenge and I've kind of just scrolled past it not really caring until yesterday where I finally clicked on one and let me tell you this has got to be one of the most spooky challenges I have probably ever attempted on this channel so if you guys are not familiar with the 11 mile ritual I actually have it on the Wikipedia right here I'm gonna read that to you in just a second but basically it involves wishing for something that you desire in life you can wish for anything guys it can be wealth it can be fame family health any Thing you want and you guys already know I got quite the list so I'm definitely gonna be attempting this challenge So basically what it involves is you're gonna get in your car It has to be nighttime You're supposed to find any road that is surrounded by forest So that in itself is already gonna be spooky and with the right mindset which it states here on the Wikipedia You're gonna think about the reward and I don't know you think something about the 11 mile ritual I'm gonna read it in a sec. I have no idea exactly how this goes down But after you do that correctly, you're supposed to see some road that can't be found on Google Maps. It's like a mystical map magic road that just appears only for you and you are the only person in the world that can see it so guys buckle up literally buckle up we're getting in the car in a second we together are gonna try this 11 mile ritual now I actually wanted to go with a few friends but apparently from what it says you can only go alone and it's only gonna work if you go alone so I guess I'm going alone <laughs> kind of I kind of have you guys but you know you guys can't really save me behind the camera so if I die I die but again guys buckle up it's about to be savage it's about to be crazy it's about to be spooky if you guys are ready for this, I'm gonna read the rules and we are going to jump right into this challenge. Let's get it. Okay, so guys, once again, this is a challenge that I have like strongly avoided for the past month. I've been seeing these videos all over YouTube. We're finally about to do it. I have it right here, the rules and what you're supposed to be doing. I'm gonna read that out to you guys, probably pop up a screenshot right here or something. And yeah, here we go. Okay, so 11 miles, that is the name of the ritual. Do you have something that you truly relentlessly desire? I have lots of those things. Despite your state of life, is there something else that you would go completely to the end of the world to get? Well, lucky for you, there's a way to achieve what you're looking for, and you won't need to go to the end of the world to get it, but you will need to go somewhere, and the place may be too far out of reach for some. It's not far away, closer than one might believe, but there are requirements that some individuals may not meet. First, whatever it is that you seek, know that you must seriously desire what you want. In your eyes, it should be something that you need. If you begin the journey without the correct state of mind, you will surely fail, as it will be nearly impossible to turn back once the journey starts okay so that's one of the creepy parts guys like once you start once you like turn onto this road you're in your own world and you can't turn back you have to complete the ritual anyways let's continue the second requirement is that you will need a vehicle of sorts most use a car as it is the most comfortable choice there have been a select few that have used a small motor motorized vehicle such as an ATV or motorcycle but this has proven to be quite difficult as the conditions of the journey can prove to be too bothersome <laughs> that is what is it mean bothersome do not use a vehicle too large or noticeable as you will need some cover of night to be most safe while any sort of car will do you may not want to choose the most expensive or cherished vehicle you can take your slick new black Mercedes for a drive if you'd like but don't expect it to come out in pristine state make sure your vehicle is completely fueled before beginning the drive the first task is to locate the road it doesn't have to be a name it's not on the map and technically it doesn't even exist it will only show up if you're looking for it at the right time and you will only spot it if you know what to look for finally you must be alone during the journey you didn't think you'd be able to go with a group did you okay okay getting sassy okay one more paragraph guys it must be night when you begin choose the time of night where you believe the roads are least populated drive to any area that is just a stretch of road surrounded by woods here's where you want to start paying close attention if you're looking for the road it will turn up eventually but you need to search for the roads hint in order to pull down the right one once you're close you will see or feel its signs but what the signs will be will depend on what it is you desire for example if you're in search of wealth you may spot shimmers on an empty branch of trees as they resemble 
resemble the shine of gold or diamonds. If you seek love, you may begin to see rose petals slowly dance in the light breeze, blowing in the road's direction. If you seek revenge, you may sense an ever-growing feeling of heat or anger in your body as you approach. Just know what it is you really want and you'll have no problem finding the turn. Once you're sure you found the revealed road, take a deep breath and turn down onto it. At this point, you have officially started the nameless road which begins you through the 11 miles leading to whatever it is you seek. Each mile will test your desire and will expose if you really do want what you're searching for. Before you go any further, stop the car and be wary of a few advisements. Okay, so I'm gonna put that screenshot up right there of the few rules that you guys can look over if you're interested in that. But other than that, I know what I'm looking for. I know what I want. Let's go search for this road, guys. Okay, so guys, before we go ahead and start this game, you guys know me and you know that I'm kind of skeptical with these challenges. And needless to say, this ritual is claiming that it can grant your wishes, which is something that I find very hard to believe. But I guess that's what we're gonna be testing out tonight. And with that, just before we head out the door, apparently this ritual surprisingly does not come with a catch other than the fact that you're gonna be haunted by continuous nightmares. And apparently every single time you try to drive, you're gonna hear the sounds of this 11 mile drive. And I don't know what that means, but that's what it said on the Wikipedia. So we're gonna experience this tonight, guys. We're gonna see what's up. I'm very skeptical that it's gonna work, but you guys know I'm gonna keep it real with you. And, and without further ado, I'm probably gonna go fill up my gas tank. I'm gonna go get some food, get myself fueled up for the journey. And guys, let's do this. Okay guys, so I made it over to one of the spots in my town that I know is surrounded by a bunch of forest. Now guys, before I start searching for this mysterious road, there are a few rules that you have to abide by when you're playing the 11 mile ritual. One of them is you cannot have the radio on, so we're gonna keep that off throughout the entire time. And then there's a few other rules, but I'm sure that was probably the most important one. And then of course guys, before you start the 11 mile ritual, you have to think of something you desire. And me being a YouTuber, and I'm assuming a lot of other YouTubers have probably wished for more subscribers subscribers so my wish is gonna be to see 1 million subscribers on this channel by the end of 2018 I don't know let's see if it comes true but currently we are parked right outside of just literally right up there is where the forest starts and the road gets really creepy and stuff so we're parked just outside of that right now guys it's about to be spooky I don't know what I'm looking for it we're gonna just go with the flow I'm gonna really really visualize my wish in my head and apparently from what the Wikipedia says if I do that properly if I have the right mindset the road will just appear I will somehow be drawn to the road and I'll know it's the one to take so I'm gonna pick up this camera when we are up at the forest catch you guys in a second buckle up okay guys so the area around is already looking pretty freaking spooky honestly starting to get a little bit creeped out but we're currently heading up towards the forest you could probably already see a little bit of it there but the road conditions are actually really dangerous up here like you can slip or slide at any moment you can see guys that this is where the forest starts up there and from here it's only uphill. There's a few houses around this area, but as you get to the top, it's completely dead. Guys, this is literally like the hill of death right now. If we make one wrong move, we're gonna go sliding down this hill. I'm hoping it's not all snowy up here so we at least have some traction. Okay, so guys, at this point, I've been driving around for 10 minutes. I'm pretty deep into the forest now. I'm trying to think really hard about my wish, and I'm hoping this road somehow pops up. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for, but we're just gonna keep driving until we see something that catches our eye, something that apparently is supposed to draw us to the road. This is really freaking creepy right now. I'm in the middle of nowhere. If anything happens, I'm literally screwed. I don't even have a cell signal right now, so I'll keep updating you guys. Okay guys, so I'm still driving on the road right now. It's been about 20 minutes at this point and I've actually just turned around now and I'm heading back to this road right here. There's literally right here, you can't see it, but there's a big, long, dark road and something is telling me right now that that's the road we need to take. So without further ado, guys, I think this is it. I think we're about to start the 11 mile ritual. Once again, we can't have our radio on. I have to sit here, think of my wish, say my wish, and then we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and think of my wish right now. Without further ado, let's make the turn. Okay guys, so as you can see, there's literally nothing around. All I have is my high beams on and 
part of the rules of the 11 mile ritual is to keep it under 30 miles per hour. So on here it goes by kilometers per hour because I'm in Canada. So we just gotta keep it around 40 and we should be good to go. Guys, also right now on my phone, I have the miles tracking. So I know exactly how many miles I'm going up until 11, which is where the game or the ritual is supposed to end and we get to claim our prize. That is if we survive. Apparently the further you go down this road, the more creepy and the more weird things start happening. All right guys, so right now we're on our first mile. Man, there's nothing more I hate than a creepy long abandoned road with civilization nowhere to be found. I'm gonna keep it completely real with you guys this entire journey, but as for now, all I can say is that things are feeling really sketchy and this road just seems to keep and keep and keep going, which is exactly what it said on the Wikipedia. So I think we're on the right track right now. It also said on the Wikipedia guys that throughout your 11 mile journey to the end, you cannot open the window at any time and you can also never get out of your car. Apparently that's like the worst thing you could do during this challenge, but whoa, what is this? Look how steep the road gets here, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm going completely downhill right now. Okay guys, I'm now approaching the second mile. So it says here on the Wikipedia, on the second mile, the air will become colder. This is primarily reason why traveling in an open vehicle is very difficult. With each mile, the air will drop in temperature, even if the season should be warm. Okay guys, so we're on the second mile now. I'm not allowed to open the window, but apparently the air outside is colder. Currently on mile number two. We're traveling at a speed of around 30 kilometers an hour. Okay, we're just about ending the second mile and approaching the third mile now. It says here on the Wikipedia, on the third mile, you may begin to spot silhouettes of human figures in the linings of trees. Pay no attention to them, even if they seem to get closer. It will be hard to resist. At this mile, the road will become dirt if you weren't driving on it in the beginning. Okay guys, so apparently at this point, we're supposed to see the dirt road coming up soon. This is so freaking creepy, guys. Why do I have to do this alone? Why, let alone, why do I put myself through this stuff? Human figure silhouettes. This is so insanely creepy right now. Guys, I don't know if it's just me or if it's this challenge, but I feel like I keep seeing things in my peripheral vision. I'm seeing things like quickly zoom past the side of the car. I feel like I have tunnel vision as I'm driving down this road. No idea how to even get out of here, but we're just gonna keep traveling down this road. We're now also approaching the fourth mile. I feel like the more I go, the more I'm being drawn into like, I don't, I can't even explain it right now. Let's read what the fourth mile has to say on my phone. Okay guys, so it says here on the phone, you will not only see more of the figures, but you will begin to sense and hear them in the back of your mind. A very faint, unintelligible whisper will echo. These will come and go, but you can't stop them. Holy, things are getting creepy. It says here for the fifth mile, you will come to a clearing. The line of trees to your left will disappear. All right guys, we're still driving on that fifth mile. As you can see the trees to our left, I don't know if you can see that, but they're all cleared out. Okay guys, we're approaching the sixth mile now. I'm gonna go ahead and read what it has to say. If you have a radio in the vehicle, it will turn on here automatically. If you didn't turn it off before, it will produce an overwhelming screech that will send you off the path. A calm voice will then begin to speak about your greatest fears. What it is you are horrified of in your life, it will speak in a way that will cause you to visualize the words in your mind. Man, this is some trippy shit, guys. All right, we're currently approaching the six mile right now. What the? Guys, yo, yo, my radio actually just turned on. Okay, that was either coincidence or that was because of this, because my radio's never done that and holy. Okay, let me tell you guys something really weird that I've been noticing along this entire road. We're on the seventh mile now, or about to be, but everything looks the exact same. Nothing's changes. The terrain, it looks literally the exact same. But according to my phone right now, we're on our seventh mile. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this one out for you guys right now. Apparently from what I heard, the seventh mile is where things start getting extremely creepy. So, okay, so guys on the seventh mile, the voices from 
the figures will return. It won't sound like a whisper this time, but more like a distant scream, growing closer with each second. At some point on this mile, you'll hear one of them in your ear, as if one of them were right behind you. This is because one of the figures have found their way into your vehicle. Do not turn around. Their faces will shock you to being paralyzed, leading you off the road. If you don't draw attention to it, it will become uninterested and hopefully leave. Oh my gosh. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to be hearing screams right now, followed by a figure or whatever is in the back of my car as we speak. You guys let me know if you see anything. Guys, honestly, this ritual is extremely weird. It kind of like plays with your head. I feel like I'm hearing things, I'm seeing things. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the eighth mile. It says, slow down if you're going too fast. The road here takes very sharp turns, which if overshot will throw the vehicle into a pit through the trees. The cold is near fatal here. If you were to have a glass or bottle in liquid in your vehicle, it would be solid in seconds. The heating system will have become completely obsolete. Your headlights will flicker more, sometimes shutting off for a few seconds. You should break if this happens, but do not completely stop. The figures will be following you at this point, and should you stop for too long, they will surround and trap your vehicle. More of their screams can be heard from the outside of your doors, sometimes even sounding like mechanical laughter. Okay guys, speaking of the eighth mile, I can see a sharp turn up ahead there. The road is literally all curvy right now. Just past the curve there, what the? You guys can probably see my headlights flickering there a little bit. Okay, so guys, we're now approaching the ninth mile I have the Wikipedia open again for the ninth mile it says your vehicle will stall the headlights will shut off as well as all other systems inside there's nothing you can do to prevent this what you need to do is immediately close your eyes and attempt to restart the vehicle keep your eyes closed as the figures would have surely surrounded you at this point the starting of the vehicle will frighten them and they will all back away this is your chance to begin moving forward again okay guys picking up the camera my car is literally coming to a stop right now I'm literally pressing on the gas right now, guys. My car is just gliding at this point. Okay, guys, the light on my car is currently not working, but we're gonna go ahead and try to start the car. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Okay, okay. We got it starting, we got a floor, we got a floor. It says here, on the 10th mile, the voices of beings will stop. If you were to look in your rear view mirror, do not actually do this. You will see them following you, but not as if they were chasing. They're watching you, as if they were seeing you off. As you go down the 10th mile, the road will be smoother, as if you were back on the first mile. The figures will begin lining the sides of the path ahead of you. They won't be after you, but they will watch you as you pass. Some have theorized that the beings are impressed here that you have come a long way on this journey to what you desire. This is false, they are not impressed, but they are happy you are about to approach the next mile. They are happy because you are most likely going to your death. Okay guys, so reading that, <laughs> that's not creepy at all. Okay guys, I'm not quite seeing any figures on the side here, but I feel like I can hear them and I just feel like they're watching. It's definitely a really creepy feeling. We have just a little bit of a quarter of a mile until we reach that 11th mile so this is the final and last mile guys apparently it's the hardest one most people end up failing here we'll see if we can make it through and i will pick the camera up when we reach that 11th mile in the distant road you will see a glowing red light up ahead as if it were the light at the end of the tunnel apparently from what it is saying we are supposed to see a red a red light i see it guys i see it look 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 Guys, I'm moving very slowly right now, but you can see the red light right there flashing at the end. Oh my gosh, just like the Wikipedia said. Yo, yo, what the hell is that? Guys, something, something's literally following me from behind. I don't know if you can see that in the mirror or behind me. Guys, I think we just broke the rules. I went over 30 miles per hour. I feel like I'm supposed to be coming to a dead end right now, but it's not appearing. I don't know if that's because we broke the rules or I swear something's behind me right now. The road's not ending. I'm supposed to be coming to a dead end. Guys, I actually think I screwed up. I don't have a signal on my phone, so I can't use the GPS. Where the hell is this road going? I'm supposed to be seeing a dead end right now. Yo, yo. Yo, what the hell is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I think I found my dead end right up here. This is a dead end. 
It doesn't look like much of a dead end, but more like a three-way intersection, but this is Britannia Road. I know that road passes just near my house, so, so I'm gonna make a left and hopefully I end back up in the town. That road literally went for 11 miles, guys. It was the creepiest thing I've ever been through. Super insane. Hopefully I make it back to the town, and if I manage to get home, I will probably pick this back up to give you guys a little bit of an outro. Never again. All right, guys, I'll pick this up in a second.